BJ from Board Game Gumbo, I've got my guests here, Eric Slost, and we're talking spicy hot games that both of us played. And one of the games, this is not a new game, so we're, we're reeling in the years here. I wanted to, and hopefully you've played this, because mm. uh, I wanted to talk to you about it. And it's a game called Potion Explosion. Why am I bringing up Potion Explosion? Here's two reasons, Eric. And what everybody knows about this game, it's, it's the balls that are coming out of the dispenser, and you're trying to pick the right ones, so that it creates a reaction anytime two colored balls hit. And they're going to match up to two potions that you're working on. As you fulfill those potions, sure, you're scoring points. <clears throat> but even more fun, you're getting those special powers, which allows you to do the thing everyone wants to do in Potion Explosion. Get all of the balls from one row. And then you declare yourself the winner of that round. And that's Potion Explosion. Come on. That's the number one. That's the one reason why I'm talking about. The second reason is that my little gateway and filler games group that we, we play games two or three times a week, and especially on Friday nights, we're just addicted to this game. Yeah. It's on BGA. It's it takes care of all the setup for you, and it's just so much fun. I mean, are you a Potion Explosion fan? I do. I really I like Potion Explosion a lot. Um, it's it's got great toy factor table presence. I was always a big fan of like those um those like Cascade games like uh, Columns. Fun? Or yeah, like uh, I mean, like the old school ones, like Doctor Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, and like uh, co your columns and Tetris and all that sure. stuff. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like something that uses that idea and these these combos, and you know, um, it gives you that feel of thinking several moves ahead, but you know, with that those those chain reactions. So um, you know, I it it the, you know the one of the big comparisons, the same way people are like. Azul versus Sagrada, they have similar feels and audiences or whatever. Yep. Like it's this one versus Gizmos. Sure. I see a lot of people go back and forth. I want to hear what what do you think? Uh, it's it's tough. Um I think you have to Giz admit, you there can only be one, Eric. <laughs> uh I think Gizmos has the really cool engine building aspect. Um, so if you want maybe a heavier thing where you're, you're thinking about not only this system with like whatever the balls are coming out, um, but you're also thinking about your engine and, you know, trying to pick that up. Potion Explosion, I think is more, uh, I wouldn't say frenetic, but there's more of that combo, um, uh, feel and it's, uh, it's faster. I think there's less like AP than, gizmos of because uh, there's less decision points um uh yeah so it, here's why i like potion explosion better yes if you track with me i love the long engine building games okay if i want to play one of those you know terraforming mars wingspan or anything like love those yeah this is one of those that i like and i, I call them the wind up games where you just wind up a little tiny engine and you let it go and you get to see it actually do something. Yeah. And I love that. In Potion Explosion, if you want to be Jay, you got to get two potions every single <laughs> round. You're getting, if you're getting one potion around, you're going to lose this game. I'm telling you. So, But to do that, you really have to know how to wind up that engine and make it hum every single round. But as soon as you wind it up, it does something cool. And then you start the engine again. I like those games. I don't want them all to be slow, slow, slow build up. I love Imperial Settlers. But... You know, I don't want every game to be that same slow, slow, slow build up, and then in the last round you run this long, long engine. Sure. And Gizmo has more of that feel to me than Potion Explosion. That's I fair. think Potion Explosion has those quick, quick little engine build ups. So, <laughs> Verla, yes, very good point. I 100% agree that Gizmos uh, and Potion there can Explosion be only one in this game. <laughs> Maybe put them in different squares in your right. in your cabinets so they don't fight. But uh, yeah. Patrick says, less AP, you pro you obviously haven't played with this with my wife. Okay, <laughs> some people do get AP. I tell people, just wait till the person to your right is taking their turn. Have fun. Don't eat Cheetos, but eat anything else. <laughs> you know, when the person to your right, though, is there, you need to start planning your turn. Sure. If you start focusing when the person on your left is, everything's going to change by the time it gets to you. So yeah. you want to help people out with that AP, just tell them to focus on the person to their right. So... The gateway group is pretty addicted to this game. <laughs> I've got some examples. There, every time we're on BGA, we see J Bell playing potion, playing explosion. potion explosion every day. Uh, Kelly 
and uh, Eric are constantly on the app version. If there's now one you can play on your phone. That's and, dangerous. Uh, we saw Jimmy, uh, t Jimmy, Jimmy Huynh talking about, hey, I play this on, on the phone all the time. So if in these COVID times, this is the, another reason I wanted to bring it out. This is one of those games that you can still play with friends online or you can play right there on your phone and knock it out. For a while, it was Splendor for me. I played nothing but Splendor on the phone You know, a couple of years ago. I finally bored of it, but Potion Explosion, I could see myself playing on the phone and just trying to get, trying to somehow come within 80% of J-Bell's score. <laughs> Topher says, if Gizmos had multiple engines running, I'm down. That's one of the reasons I love one so much. Can you address that, Eric? What do you think? Yeah, I think, um, so in, I, I can't remember if it's four slots or five slots in Gizmos that you have, but essentially there's like five powers um, that you can build, um, uh, one that like lets you draw more marbles, one that lets you save a certain number or something. Uh, and so not only are, is each individual card that you put under that arena different, but you can like, um, push for once specialize in drawing a bunch of marbles or specialize in saving your points or whatever. Um, so yeah, there's multiple, columns to worry about and each card is like a different power in that column but there is that capacity for like um even early on earlier on for like multiple things like oh every time i draw a blue i get to draw another red and every time i draw red i get two greens and oh, yeah. if i get two of a marble then i get to draw an extra thing you know like it's it has that, that and um, i've got friends like sagan who just run that engine until there's just <laughs> and of course they don't even need all of those things they have all these extras that they can't even use by the end of the round yeah still, it is fun to watch people wind up that thing and that is that's that comparison, but that's Potion Explosion from Come On Games. It's really from Horrible Games, one of my, one of my, I think an underrated game company. They made Steam Park. If you like Steam, mm -hmm. if you like Escape, play Steam Park Ooh. because Steam Park is a better version of Escape. It's the frenetic dice rolling, but you're building a theme park out of it. What? Yes. Uh, I uh, write this down. It, it, so it it compacts that that crazy that that wild frenetic dice rolling into just a little minute thing. It's not sure. as long as the game, but but instead of being chased by monsters through a temple, you're actually building a nice little theme park. Check I'm, out Steam. Park. I'm into that. Marvel games, same designer if I remember right as Potion Explosions. Uh, Potion Explosions. 